Oh, hi. To start off, I bought this during the first wave pre-orders on x-ray pads. This is the Haiti S Wireless, a small size mouse that comes in at a length of about 110mm, a height of about 40mm, a width of about 60mm in the back and 55 in the middle, and a weight of around 60 grams. Inside the box comes with this cool tin. Oh yeah, and the mouse, an interesting braided paracord cable thing, some skins, some extra mouse feet, a brush for some reason, and the satellite antenna. The mouse sent with the first pre-order batch had a black PCB instead of the yucky green one that came with the review copies. Still has that LED that glows the G-Wolves logo. The logo also doubles as a battery indicator, which is kind of cool. The charging cable has a bendy area to make it so that you can use it without using a mouse bungee, which is a pretty clever way of making the mouse usable even when it's being charged. The wireless antenna, although being memed into oblivion, clears up desk space so that you don't have to have any more of that cable and dongle crap all over your desk. Though it's pretty funny to turn your computer into a 2003 looking AT&T cell tower in 2021. That being said, you knew that thing screwed onto the USB receiver or else the mouse can barely even function. The software for the mouse is very bare bones, but functional. The battery life is good enough to get you through multiple days. I only really remember it getting close to dying once or twice during my testing. Now into my experience with it. I've been using only this mouse for about two weeks now. For reference, my hand measures at about 20 and a half centimeters by nine centimeters. I play fingertip and I currently main the final mouse which light two at 2100 DPI because I function entirely off of snorting gamer energy drink powder. For me personally, this mouse shape is almost perfect. Even though it's both heavier and shorter than the Ultralight 2, the transition was a super easy one. The included side grips initially felt too sticky and had this weird, almost sweet smell that would transfer to your fingers, but both those problems were gone in after about a week. The mouse skates are incredibly smooth, probably some of the best stock feet I've ever used. Don't think I need to change them. The mouse 1 and 2 felt crisp with no real pre travel. The side buttons had a good size and feel, but sat up kinda high on the mouse, which might be weird for some people to use, but no real problems here for me. Here's a quick sound test. When I first started using the mouse, even though the shape felt natural, I was having some accuracy issues. Almost as though it was moving faster than I could actually control. Specifically in Kovacs and O's, but in FPS gameplay there wasn't anything noticeably worse. After getting used to it though, I thought it had the potential to be my main mouse. But, onto the heartbreaking part now. This may just be my copy, but since this is what I was sent, this is what I'm basing my review on. So far this has only happened twice in total, but the wireless functionality has had some huge problems. And this is even with the space antenna on. Both times the mouse shot either directly up or down without me moving the mouse in that direction at that very moment. What the fuck? Uh, my mouse just, uh, in, uh, I think the wireless sensor fucked up, or something. It's a damn shame, because when the mouse functions properly, I've gotten some of my best game performance out of it. I think that these problems only really happen when the mouse is running low on battery, but honestly, I can't remember. Overall, I really wish I could have loved it, but those wireless issues made me want to spike the mouse through the floor and down into my neighbor's living room. Okay, bye. Alright, so a real quick thing I realized after making this video. I think all of the wireless sensor issues only happen with a lot of Bluetooth activity going on near the mouse. Looking back at footage, and while recording the antenna list footage, I noticed that the mouse only really goes fucky-wucky when the Bluetooth on my computer is turned on. I don't know jack all about wireless connections, but if my smooth as the ball-bearing brain had to guess, it's because the wireless receiver on the mouse has troubles distinguishing which signals are meant for it and which aren't. So if you don't use anything Bluetooth on your computer, that's eh, probably a fine mouse to get. Otherwise, uh, probably avoid it.